Hi and welcome to Tex Nation TV. This yeah, week, it's it seems my first like, time on an airplane. It's yeah, great. Uh, Everybody looks like ants. FCC is now. Hey, that's phones. my house right there. Yeah, we'll fantastic. Talk about it. I'm with this guy here, and it's been really cool. Welcome to this week's Tex Nation TV. My name's Rusty G. I'm Alan. And as you saw there in the intro, yes, that's right. Uh, it seems the FCC is now going to allow, I guess. Talking on your phone and playing games, I guess? Well, um, they're thinking about allowing, well, the games and everything, that's pretty much passed. Yeah, everybody does it. You know, now it used to be uh, you had to stay off your devices under 10,000 feet. So during takeoff and ascend, that's when no electronic devices, you know, you got to stay sit up straight and get, ready, get right. ready to die. But as soon as we got to 10,000 feet, Super fun time. Everything's okay. <laughs> Turn on your devices. Have a have a blast. Yeah. Well, I really don't know what happened. You know, maybe uh, AT and T and the conglomerates kind of got in the uh, government's pocket. You know, hey, we give you guys a lot of money because we charge a ridiculous amount of oh, <laughs> money for data and cell phones usage. Yeah. You know, you get a little bit of you know you got to help us out a little bit in the air. We're not getting that money in the air. Yeah. So. They're like, all right, so now below 10,000 feet, you can, you know, still use your Kindles and play your games on your phone and things like that. Now, I would say also the 10,000 feet because pretty much after 10,000 feet, you're done for as far as cell signal is concerned. We've been up in a plane at about 12,000 feet trying to use our phones. And GPS works because, you know, that's satellites, yeah. but the cell towers, uh, not so much. So Yeah, that's the thing. Unless you've got a... Super, cal super yeah. One of those cell phones that's got the antenna like that. Yeah, you know, like the, exactly. The big walkie-talkie. Then you're pretty much done for anyway. But uh, also, you should be able to pay attention at that time. You know, we don't. After the first crash, this will probably be done <laughs> because you got to pay attention during that time because that's planes crash mostly on takeoff or coming into land. I'm gonna play devil's advocate here. All right. Let's say I'm in that plane, all right? Because I ride a bus a lot in this town, and so a bus and a plane, I, I put those two in the same sense that there's one pilot and then there's one bus driver. So this is where I'm going to go with this. Once well, I get on the bus and I sit down, mm -hmm. or when I get on the plane, I'm, I buckle my seatbelt for the first 10, 15 minutes of takeoff, obviously. Yeah. But after they tell me, you know, whatever, it doesn't matter if I'm on my phone. I'm not bugging you. I'm shut. I'm quiet because I'm sitting there doing my thing. So why does it matter, you know, what I'm doing in between here and there? Well, it's all about paying attention to what's going to happen, what, needs, what steps need to be taken next. Because once you're in a crash, your mind just automatically goes out the window. What's the 15-minute intro that we have to listen to every stinking time I trade planes going from one place to another? Every time I, you know, we all know the safety video if you travel a lot. Well, that's just FAA regulation, so they have to, they have to I that. learned what I needed to from their little That's thing. why we couldn't curse on the radio, because we have FCC regulations. <laughs> you just have to follow those <laughs> rules, you know? Well, we all know those rules. That's the reason why I, I I'm again, I'm playing devil, devil's advocate yeah. here, because... You know, just leave me alone. Once I buckle in, shut up, and I'll be quiet because I've got my own device. So, you know. But you're distracted. Exactly. I'm distracted from what's going on because I don't need to be paying attention until the plane has that crash. Then I'm like, oh, okay. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> Once you're in that emergency situation, your brain really goes out the window. That's why when they tell you to put the life vest on, don't pull the cord. Right, but everybody pulls everybody the cord. Everybody pulls the cord, so when the plane goes in the ocean... They automatically float up and get stuck between the overhead yeah. and die pretty yeah. much because and also the passenger who didn't who listened to the rules has to like try to <laughs> move you and I don't I, he he works oh this is this is my field this is you know this is what I've been in for over a decade so of course I'm a little more passionate on the yeah. pay, paying attention following the rules in the air side <laughs> but what about earlier. Yeah, it was the first time in an airplane. It's great. It's great. I can barely hear you, though. You know, I've got one dot or one bar, whatever I'm using these days. <laughs> it's fun. Oh, look. They're going to, you know, there's flight attendants, and I'm going to talk to that chick over there. Yeah, you, honey. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that guy. That's the annoying thing. Um, yeah. 
as we were talking about earlier, you know, we're allowed to play games now, which I think is cool. Yeah. Because you know, even I, you know, eh, turn off. He's playing Candy Crush. Turn off and, whatever, uh, you know. Just letting you know. Candy Crush, indeed. <laughs> you know, that's fine, but the, the talking on the cell phone thing, it's mostly an annoyance, really. Yeah, because I hate people even on the bus. When I ride on the bus, And there's talking. a petition out now, too, to, you know, tell the FCC, hey, let's not have a cell phone being used all the time because this is actually, like, one of the places that you can get in and you don't have that jibber-jabbering passenger beside you. They may be but talking But you to have you. the kids with the... <laughs> well, until we can find an airline that doesn't allow children. <laughs> with human beings, you gotta kind of have to deal with it. That's what got the noise, you know, canceling, <laughs> canceling, canceling yeah. headphones, you gotcha. know. But it's just one of those places where you can actually maybe take a nap or even like really read a book. Right. Like a real book, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, plus with the Wi Fi uh, enabled, a lot of the Delta flights that I know of. Uh, some of the Southwest are starting to get into it. Uh, most of the American Airlines. Well, Southwest is now uh, is going to allow Wi-Fi gate to gate. Oh, nice! So as soon as you get on the plane, you're Wi-Fi, con- you're connected. Yeah, and with Wi-Fi, you don't have to have a cell connection to make that phone call. So even at 10,000, 14,000, 20,000, 30,000 feet, wherever you are, you can still make a cell connection because, or not a cell connection, but a Wi-Fi connection, and make a voice over IP call. So even then. That might become an annoyance. I don't know. I've never been on the business class side of things. I'm a poor man on the low, you know, life. Uh, I've always been in coach, so I could never tell you. I've never sat in a business class and, yeah, you know, sipped a little wine and, you know, whatever it is. So It's not what it used to be. Yeah. I can definitely tell you from that. But also with this, even if the FAA makes, make, uh, passes it, it's still up to the airline to enforce it. Right. Exactly. So each airline is in charge of their airplane, so... It may, you know, the FAA will go, okay, whatever. It's cool. Do it. Delta will be like, eh, I don't want to. <laughs> so, you know, that it comes a battle then between does the airline want to, uh, want to allow that or not. And I really don't see this happening. I mean, just from what I was talking about in the beginning is that during an emergency situation, we as human beings just freak out. <laughs> and having... Goofy here on a cell phone, he's in an aisle seat, I'm by the window, and he's freaking out on his phone, you know, while we're going down, you know, and you got to, you know, be ready to get out, you know, it's just, it's just a, a distraction in the way of, you know, saving lives and things like that, I, I don't know, I don't see that passing, I do like the uh, being able to uh, use the internet, you know, yeah. have Wi-Fi gate to gate, I'm all for that. Plus the fact that we all know now that most of your pilots are allowed to carry the iPad, I think I read one story that said one of them's going back away from the iPad because they found out that something or other about the Wi-Fi that's inside of it causes in, internal. I don't think it was any of the big name ones. Maybe it was like Frontier or something. But it, it, it's everybody pretty much knows that electronic devices now on a plane does not distract any of the stuff that's going on at the front of the plane that the pilot's taking care of. No, so. I think it's just all about we. We want the passengers to pay attention. Yeah. I mean, that, that, that's the bottom line, you know. We want to be civilized when it starts turning into chaos. So on your next flight, pay attention. Keep everything forward. Uh, tray, tray tables up in an upright, upright and locked, locked position. Look out for those panels located above your oh-so-natural hair color or possibly sunburned <laughs> head. Securing it behind the head with the elastic strap. Pulling the loose ends of the elastic strap tight and you two can look as good as these ladies. Remain seated, breathe normally, do not remove your mask until instructed to do so by a member of your flight crew. And even though oxygen is flowing, that plastic bag may not inflate. Don't worry, mine will. <laughs> Just kidding. It's perfectly normal and you're still receiving a steady flow of oxygen. Folks, if you are traveling with a little Wester on board today, or wives, if you're traveling with a husband with a headset on his head that's not listening to me, oh, there he is. Please make sure that you help yourself out before you help out the others. Face with that white belt. Fasten it in the front with a black clip. Pull on the loose ends and tighten. Stow away any loose ends or loose screws you may have. Oh, we're going to have to wait a few minutes. Dory's got quite a few loose screws. Just kidding. <laughs> Everyone, guess what? Now it's class participation time. I hope you all paid attention because we're going to have a brief quiz. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh. Make sure your seat backs and tray tables are in the full upright and locked position. Your, st- your um, carry-on baggage is jammed and crammed beyond recognition under the seat in front of you. Ladies, this includes your purses under straps. And gentlemen, if you have your purse on board, like I said, I live in Ottawa. 
Thank you for your attention. We're going to do this one more time. I'll fall safe. We'll miss a miss a flank on phone and be up on our way. Thanks for your attention and welcome on board. All right, so enough about planes. Uh, let's bring things a little bit more back down to earth. Uh, something that that's, has... That's a nice segue. Rosie. Exactly. Like that. <laughs> things that have been kind of been brewing on the internet for a little while, and this happens almost every single time there's a change to some sort of website, whether it's Facebook, whether it's uh, Google+, whether it's Twitter, whether it's YouTube, which is what we're going to talk about as you're watching here on YouTube. You may be watching at home on a desktop. You may be watching on your mobile device. But something that went down that we talked a little bit about, but I wanted to go more in depth because we kept getting videos of people very, very irritated with the fact that YouTube made a change that now it seems they are forcing Google Plus on people. Mm -hmm. And not a lot of people like Google Plus. And for those of you that are Facebook folks, um, I under, I, I, you know, I don't get it. I really don't get it. Yeah, we're pretty close to just calling it on Facebook. Uh, Google Plus is just a, just more of a community. I like it. Right. I like it better. I use Facebook because I still have family members who, right. If I, they looked at Google Plus, they would think, ooh. <laughs> you know, it's like them seeing the internet for the first time. You know, because <laughs> they're so used to Facebook now. That, yeah. You know, I got to keep it for family, but. Otherwise, also, I follow a lot of businesses, so yeah. they offer coupons and deals and things like that. So that's what, I use Facebook just mostly for commercials. Yeah. Think of it as a between the episodes. That's what I use <laughs> Facebook for. It's just advertising, pretty much. Yeah, a lot of people were really irritated because YouTube updated, and they were like, F you, YouTube. I don't need a Google Plus Yeah, account. there's that, that tank. Yeah. The, the, the tank, tank on the, uh, yeah. on the uh, comments. They're, they're bringing their pitchforks in their tanks and, yeah. you know, text going, going to war. Yeah, and I'm like, guys, 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 I, I understand the fact that you don't like that, you know, you're being brought to the light, as it were, because now you have to have a Google Plus account to, you know, you have to have a profile, basically. Yeah. But even with the Google Plus profile, you can fake information and create a fake account. So shut up and make a fake account and put whatever you want on there whether it's bronies or gremlins. Also, if you have a business, if you have a Google Plus account, then your AdSense just went up because when someone searches you, your face will be the first thing. Like, if you search Rusty, because he has a Google Plus account, right? his, well, I think you have an anonymous mask, yeah. but that face will be <laughs> up there. You know, that's just, that's recognition for your business, if, you know, if you're selling anything. Yeah, so, and plus the fact that Google is using their Android devices to get everybody on Google Plus, and that's kind of forced as well because when you buy or when you buy that new Android device, you're getting a Google Plus account because you're getting a Gmail account. Yeah. And it's kind of, I wouldn't say forced, but you realize that you're buying into the Google brand. I mean, you have to kind of accept that somewhere along the line. So my thing is, you knew that YouTube was purchased by Google a few years back. You knew this is eventually going to happen, even though that you don't like Google Plus and you had that anonymity of being on YouTube with just a screen name, you had to register for a screen name, so it's the same thing. The only thing is they're asking that you now have a Google Plus profile. So me personally, I have nothing against it because I use pretty much almost, not everything, but almost every single social media that's available. But as an administrator, though, the comments can get kind of confusing because we saw, oh, there's new comments on our video. Yeah. Exciting. No, it's just what we shared on Google+. Plus. Yeah. That, that part can be kind of annoying. Yeah, there, there are some parts of it that are annoying. I just, some people said that... The pros the, outweigh the cons for you. Yeah, the, some people said that it was hard to find the comments. Like, you get an email that says there's new stuff, and they can't find it. I'm like, you go you to scroll the... down. You just go to the video, and you just look, and there they are. I don't understand. You know, and there is some honest things, like they're putting out spam filters. So if you're someone who has a lot of views and you're getting spam comments, sometimes they'll catch it and mm -hmm. sometimes they'll catch it errantly. It'll be a false positive, so you kind of got to be wary of that. So it, it filters out some of the more um, trollish, egregious and malice comments that people have been getting cuz anytime you make a video and put it on YouTube, there's always that person it's just like well, you're trash, and what you're talking about is trash, and this is trash, and I know more about trash than you know more about trash. And <laughs> it, it just, you gotta take a break after reading it because you feel berated as a human being and yeah. you feel like you just wanna quit. Yeah, you internet trolls out there, I'm sorry, I've got no sympathy for you. Just get the Google Plus account and just 
never, you don't have to use it. Just use it for the commenting purposes. Link it up to your YouTube account if you want and put a fake pony up there for all we care. Yeah. I mean, it's not hurting you. I, I honestly have. And if you want to complain, call our Google Voice number. We're here. <laughs> I'm not scared. Exactly. So, any anything that I hear about the Google Plus update, you know, to YouTube is like, uh, cry me a river. So, whatever. It's the internet. You know what you can do? <laughs> we talked about this last week, and just because it's Google and everything's kind of been Google here lately as far as news is coming. We actually talked about coin last week, and we talked about going with the digital wallet. Uh, I ran into a problem with trying to go to the digital wallet with the uh, geode iCash, obviously. Uh, lost about $160, $170 on that deal, but uh, coin's trying to make up for that. They're not the same company, but the same idea. Um, and guess who showed up not even, I don't think, two days later in Google Wallet? They said, <laughs> oh, by the way, we can do that too. We have Google Wallet. How hard can it be? Yeah, so now you can take your cell phone, Android device. If you already have Google Wallet installed, you can basically pull your credit card out, take a picture of it, front and back, everything. It auto imports everything from your card and your bank and whatever else and bam, your card is on your phone without you having to put it in there. And people always say, well, there's a, there's a problem with that because they can take a picture, anybody can take a picture and add it to their account, blah, 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 blah. And there's always these security things. Uh, pretty sure we already have that problem now. And if I were to go to a restaurant, and I thought about this over the last week, because we talked about this last week with the coin. All right. Servers can already take your credit card information from you anyway because we're giving them a card so i i lean more towards the side of just press on with the technology and go with it and there's inherent things that's going to happen there will be people out that's there. the things with um new technology there's going to be new risk yeah and it's just you know one of the things you got to deal with i mean when the telephone was invented mm, yeah all of a sudden there's telemarketers <laughs> i consider that a risk <laughs> So yeah, uh, Google Wallet has announced that they're updating the Google Wallet app so that you can take a picture and put your credit card into so you don't have to manually enter that information in, which is kind of nice because banks do the same thing with checks. If you, for some odd reason, still get a check that's handwritten from somebody, my bank even does this where you can take a picture of the check and import it in. That's so, how I deposit all my checks. Yeah, so Google, well, you don't do direct deposit? No, I'm talking about if I get checks for, oh, okay. other, you know, I for other things and bonuses and things like that sometimes. So, yeah, it looks like Google Wallet's trying to keep you up to cusp on the latest thing and take pictures of your credit card and import them automatically. And if you have an NFC-enabled Android device that allows for that type of thing, you can just wave your phone at the checkout and get everything paid for. So I think it's great. People are going to have security pr uh, problems with it. Everybody always does. It's, it's, a, it's a new product. There's things, I mean, the thing that concerns me is the lifespan of it. And I'm sure they'll be working on that as well. You know, do I buy, I want to buy one coin forever until they update that coin. You yeah, know, I don't want to buy a coin and then have to, the battery run down or something happens and where I have to buy another coin when I could have just used my credit card. Yeah, so all sorts of things to worry about for when it comes into new, new technology, but uh, I wanted to show you one quick thing before we get out of here. I actually got some cases for my phone. If you didn't notice, I've been waving around. This is a uh, Spigen case. I actually, it's a hard plastic case that goes around the outside, and that is on my Note 3. That's my choice case. I also bought another Spigen case. It's kind of like an exotic car line. Nice. Of, yeah. It's... But you'll see here, I got another case from Spigen, just a rubber outline, outline case. I got an eye blazing case that has a clear plastic back so you don't scratch it and you can still see the phone. That is blazing. Exactly. And it's just got the white rubber on the outside there. Uh, same style of case. I don't remember the manufacturer on this one because it was like $2 for this case. But it's gray on the outside. Not see-through plastic, but still clear-ish. Mm -hmm. And then I also got one that was a little bit more heavy-duty uh, that has the rubber more shoulders. Polka dotty. Yeah, I didn't really. All I saw was the heavy corners. I see I like, that you talking about that. You're yeah. a Dalmatian fan, or yeah, I, you know. So I got those huh. four cases for my phone, but I decided to go with that one. Yeah, this one's got good lines on it. I like this, and I like it. So tough. But uh, I'll do a full review of the phone and the cases later on. Yeah, you called me on an airplane. That's right. <laughs> I'm in an airplane. No, I'll have a Coke. No, I can't talk on it because the FAA allowed me to read the regulations, lady. 
man, I tell you. Make no, sure you how's the baby? Oh, really? Hemorrhoids? We've got That's terrible. TV. I had them once, and I had to go to the drugstore and couldn't Twitter. find the uh, right pillow TV. because and if you're mm, on Facebook, one was still, inflatable, one wasn't. One was filled with water, TV. and it was water cooled, Plus, which felt nice. Today, Excuse me, sir. I'm on the phone. I'm sorry. G plus .to slash sex Rude people. This, this may be the always, first and last flight I ever like take in my life. YouTube.com slash sex nation. No, really. We'll see you again next time. When guys. are you coming you up there? Week. We'll talk to you. What hook up then? Yeah, okay. Right.